So, um, all right. And this is a shoot. I don't even remember this girl's name. All I remember is she was older. She was an older woman. And she came in with her boyfriend who was a wrestler. And I guess they came for a tryout. Now, I want to say the boyfriend was out in the back to do this because where was he? I don't remember where he was, but we had a girl's locker room and a guy's locker room. I guess the girl's locker room must have been the bathroom. Okay. We had a women's bathroom, which... You know, sometimes it was really rare for us. Like if we went to like a school or something, there'd be the men's room, the women's room. So we got to have our own changing area, which was always a treat. Most of the time it was just a big locker room. So I remember I'm in the girl's bathroom and somebody, I don't remember which guy, but this guy, uh, one of the boys bust in and they were like, you got to come in the men's bathroom. And I was like, <laughs> why? why do they always want you there? <laughs> Oh, uh, because I'm fun and they know I'm fun. Um, you got to come see this. It's the girl. It's the girl who tried out. And I'm like, what is she doing? And they're like, oh, she's putting on a show. And I'm like, uh-uh, I'm not going in there. Because probably I go in there. I am. She'll stop everything and everybody will be mad at me. I said, nope. I said, not, not interested. I said, but I'll hear this story afterwards. Right. <laughs> so. They leave. I can't remember who it was. Uh, like 20, 30 minutes go by. And then uh, I see the girl. And she's like all disheveled, you know, and her makeup's all ran on her face. And I'm just like, oh, God, what the hell happened now, right? <sighs> Allegedly, <laughs> she goes in. I, I, I don't know if it was. It, I think it was the men's room. Was it the men's room? She had, it was somewhere where maybe she was sitting on a sink, but she was naked and she had a pack of cigarettes and oh boy. <laughs> she, um, balls Mahoney had a big part in this because he, you know, he loved the ladies. Um, she was smoking the cigarette with her. Oh, okay. So all the guys were like, she was smoking the cigarette with her. Oh my God, you had to see it. Nah, nah, nah. And I'm just like, what? She she had spread her legs. And she was smoking a cigarette and then she stuck it. And mm -hmm. it was lighting up. So she must have been doing Kegel. Kegel, Kegel yeah. So I was going to say that. Yeah. And she literally smoking it with her. And Blow, blowing the smoke out. Uh, I don't know about that, but she was down there doing the deed. And, uh, you know, uh, you can hear, like, you can hear hooting and hollering when this was going. Like, I heard, yeah, but I didn't, I, I said, I'm not going in there. Something weird's happening and I don't want to be a part of it. So I don't know if anything else was done. That's the one thing everybody was astonished by, that she smoked the cigarette with it was just so talented and um it's very talented i'm not going to deny its talent ability it's very talented now is it very sanitary is it very like, i'm sure balls know, took that out and probably smoked it or licked it in its i am writing down a name that i'm going to ask you off the air because okay. i'm going to take a guess at you said you don't remember, but I'm going to take it. I yeah. don't, I, honest to god i don't remember i know that she looked older and the guy looked older um, there were some indie indie people, but I don't remember their names, and they they did not do well on the tryout, so we didn't hire them. Oh, okay, all right. Then I don't maybe know if my it had anything. Won't be it. Oh, I don't but know. If, I don't know if it had anything to do with what she did in the <laughs> in the privacy of the the men's bathroom. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe they weren't feeling they wanted that on the on the road or in the. Uh, yeah, in the I don't. Room. I don't know either, but I just remember everybody was just like, "Oh my god!" It sounded like. Um, like those movies you see like a bachelor party thing where the stripper comes in and she does a trick or something. That's what this girl was doing. And then um, I think she actually came up to me afterwards and was like, uh, again, with the no disrespect thing. I've gotten that a couple of times. From it's a different too late people. for that. <laughs> yeah. And again, I think I said, you just disrespected yourself. I have nothing to do with that. And I walked away from her. I didn't want to be a part yeah. of it. I just go. Yeah. Come on. What a, what a line. That's a great line. It's true. 
But it's a great line. It's well, like, that, you know, it sounds really good coming I from I said you. that to two people that I recall, and she was one of them. And I was just like, uh, no. <laughs> have some, I mean, have some dignity. Why? What, what does, do you think you're going to get a job? And if you do get the job, how are these men going to look at you after that? I don't care how talented you are. There's always going to be that time you smoke that cigarette pussy. Yeah. And that's how <laughs> we're going to remember. You Not know, good. both of these stories make me want to say one thing. Ew. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh. EC dub. EC dub. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. And there's a lot more that happened. But those are the two that I, I just remember saying to myself, really? <laughs> really? So, um, yeah. I think you blew away yesterday's stories. <laughs> I hate to tell you. The ones oh, we, the, we went over. I went the junkyard dog ones kind of sitting with me the wrong way. I, and Pony Atlas going geez. for uh you I know. mean, yeah, I don't know. I guess if you're on drugs or alcohol and you really need your fix, you'll do anything to get that. But don't you get a draw? Yeah. Guys, do you Come on. Draw for your drugs? I don't know. And in the 80s, they're printing money in the uh, the WWF. Come right? on. Didn't they get paid well back then? I don't know. Uh, there's just been there's there's so much uh that I've seen. A lot of it's in the vault. I would never tell because you know, I don't I'm not here to get anybody in trouble. So I know a lot of you get mad when I don't name names, but I'm sorry. I mean, I'm still kind of in the business and I don't need any heat. So um, try and put two to two, two and two together and figure it out. But, uh, you know, I, I've seen a lot and, and I'm sure there's a lot I haven't seen out there. And um, they think they're rock stars and, and they can do no harm, no foul. It's a big party. And uh, it's gross.